Laparoscopic Treatment of Ectopic Pregnancy, Curatage, Postpartum Due to the large, soft postpartum uterus that is especially susceptible to perforation, a large blunt curette, also known as a banjo curette, is preferable to the suction curette. The physician gently scrapes the endometrial lining of the uterus to control bleeding, treat obstetric lacerations, or remove any remaining placental tissue. What is the appropriate code to report for a suctional DNC of retained placenta after the delivery? Code 59160, Curatage, Postpartum, for the DNC of the retained placenta. Hysterotomy, abdominal, e.g., for hydatidiform mole, abortion. The surgery is similar to a caesarean section but the abdominal and uterine incisions are smaller. The lower abdominal wall is opened with a vertical or horizontal incision and the uterus is entered through the lower uterine segment. The physician removes the embryo or hydatidiform mole and may also remove any remaining membranes and placenta from the uterine cavity. Insertion of cervical dilator, e.g., laminaria, prostaglandin. The physician inserts a cervical dilator, such as a laminaria or prostaglandin, into the endocervix to chemically stimulate and dilate the cervical canal. Using a speculum, the physician views the cervix and uses a tool to grasp it and pull it down. An abortion procedure is performed at a gestational age of 19 plus weeks, the physician performs an intrauterine injection, using ultrasound guidance, of digoxin into the fetus to stop the heartbeat and also places cervical dilators. A dilation and evacuation, DNE, is performed on the next day. How should the injection procedure on the first day be reported? From a CPT coding perspective, it would be appropriate to report procedure code 59200 for the cervical dilators placed on the first day in addition to code 59897 for the ultrasound guidance. Episiotomy or vaginal repair, by other than attending. To repair an episiotomy, the physician sutures an incision made in the external genital area to widen the vulvar opening, avoid tearing, and permit easier passage of the fetus. To repair a vaginal tear, the physician approximates and sutures any vaginal tears or lacerations resulting from delivery. Circlage of cervix, during pregnancy, vaginal. After inserting a speculum into the vagina to view the cervix, heavy suture material or wire is threaded around the cervix using purse string sutures. The sutures are pulled tight to make the opening smaller and prevent spontaneous abortion. Circlage of cervix, during pregnancy, abdominal. Through a small abdominal incision just above the pubic hairline, the physician places a band around the cervix at the level of the internal OS to make the cervical opening smaller and prevent spontaneous abortion from an incompetent cervix. An incompetent cervix is one that dilates during the second trimester and will eventually allow the pregnancy to fall out. The abdominal incision is closed with sutures. Circlage of uterine cervix, non-obstetrical. The physician inserts a speculum into the vagina to view the cervix of a non-pregnant patient. Suture or wire is threaded around the cervix and pulled in purse string fashion to make the opening smaller. Hysterography of ruptured uterus The physician repairs a uterus that is lacerated or ruptured during pregnancy. A large incision is made in the abdomen and the uterus is sutured in layers. The abdominal incision is closed with sutures. Chorionic villus sampling, any method. In the trans-cervical method, 
the physician inserts a catheter through the cervix and into the uterine cavity toward the placental site. A sample of the placenta, chorionic villus, is aspirated to obtain placental cells for analysis for chromosomal abnormalities. Uterine Evacuation and Curatage for Hydatidiform Mole The physician treats a hydatidiform mole, molar pregnancy, by evacuation and curatage of the uterus. The physician inserts a speculum into the vagina to view the cervix. A tenaculum is used to grasp the cervix, pull it down, and exert traction. A dilator is inserted into the endocervix and through the cervical canal to enlarge the opening. The physician places a cannula in the endocervical canal and passes it into the uterus. The suction machine is activated and the hydatidiform mole is evacuated by rotation of the cannula. After suction curatage, a sharp curette may be used to scrape the uterus and confirm that it is empty.